Lisa came to New York City through empty promises of legal passage and a legitimate job. But she was forced into prostitution in Queens in order to pay off a fictitious and an impossible to meet debt. She saw absolutely no way out. After she was arrested on prostitution charges, Restore reached out, made contact, and began providing services so that she had a chance for a new life. Lisa is the first client to move into the Restore Safe House, a safe haven that provides 24-hour care and provisions to foster full healing and recovery. Today, she's speaking English, she's learning new job skills, and she's working towards obtaining her legal status, which will expand her opportunities for economic empowerment. Lisa has come a long way, and so has Restore. Not only did we open New York City's first long-term safe house for foreign-born survivors of sex trafficking, but we have also expanded our services to include education, counseling, case management, court advocacy, and job skills training. Our organization's progress was also recently highlighted in the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. With a little bit of support, we have the ability to make a huge impact in a survivor's life. $100 provides food and other basic necessities for one woman for 10 days. $1,000 provides screening and court advocacy for one woman within the New York judicial system. $10,000 provides shelter at Restore Safe House to eight women for 100 days. So many women are waiting to experience this hope of freedom. We now have served over a hundred women who, like Lisa, desperately need our help in order to gain their lives back. We are so thankful for your support and we humbly ask that you would continue to support Restore's mission of providing the best quality of care and aid to survivors of sex trafficking. Living in a tree, yeah that's where I'd like to be. can say nothing, which I guess means they'll say something, but I won't be.